Hey y'all, Gina Brown here. So I'm going to kind of walk you through how to set up your sandbox course through Canvas. Um, I'm not 100% sure what's going on with Canvas, but I know that if we don't set this sandbox course up by Friday, then we're not gonna have the opportunity to kind of play around with it over the summer. So this is purely so that you can explore Canvas over the summer. So I access Canvas through ClassLink and then I went to my dashboard. So this is a sandbox course I created, but I'm gonna walk you through creating a sample one. So you go over here to the right and you hit start a new course. Then I'm gonna name this sample sandbox. You can just name it sandbox or sandbox course. Now you wanna keep this private for now. This just ensures it's not gonna be shared with the Canvas community, um, but all of your students can still access your materials. So hit create course. And then pretty much that's it, y'all. I don't think we have to do anything much other than explore. We do not have to upload kids. This is purely for us to kind of play around with. So you go all the way to the bottom. I'm going to X out of this so you can see. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom on the left-hand toolbar, you're gonna notice settings. So this is where you can access some more of the details to your sandbox course. Or add an image because, I mean, images are fun. So I added my image. Um, I don't know where I put it, so I'll just put this answer garden as my image. But I Google search sandbox, saved it to my computer, and then that's what I used. And then there you go. That is your image. And then you can even go through and kind of edit further. You have sections, navigations, apps, and feature options. And then if I just go back to my home screen, and then my dashboard, or just my dashboard to start, I should see that course here. So it's right there. Now, if I want to delete this course, because it is a sample, or if you want to change it, or just so you know how to delete, you do the same exact thing. You go to the course and then you hit settings. And then over here on the side, you can delete the course, you can copy it. So if you have different class periods um, and all these other options, which I will explore, but I'm going to delete this course for now. So that way it doesn't confuse me later. So I hope that was helpful. I will try exploring Canvas and um, I'll make videos kind of as I go. Okay, bye y'all. You fill my buckets each and every day.